Hello, good morning. My name is Nirbhay and I'm here to teach you Adobe Illustrator for Fashion Design. So in this uh, tutorial, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to give a wash effect on a denim pant. As you can see uh, in the image which is already in my screen, if you want to add this wash effect, it is normally done by PP spray, potassium permanganate spray or can be done by sand blasting. But when you are making a flat sketch and you have to show this wash effect then you have to use a Gaussian blur tool so I'm going to show you to you how we can get this effect in a flat sketch so as you can see uh, I already have this front and back sketch of a denim pant and I have searched for some denim swatch from the internet you can just search for denim swatch in Google I'm going to show it to you just search for denim swatch And you will get a lot of swatches uh, templates. You can just copy it from here and then paste it in your Illustrator. If you want to down download this template, I, I'm going to make it easy for you. I have uploaded this template as well as this swatches uh, in the link which I, which I have already provided in the comment box. Or you can directly go to www.techpackdesign.com slash download and you will be able to download the stunning temp template in illustrator file so i'm just using the zoom tool for now <clears throat> when you have this denim swatch you have to make sure that uh, the flat sketch which you have made is in a compound area or in a container so that you will be able to add this swatch in just one click so first thing you should do is to get the swatch and this and if you want to have some other color you have to make a copy first and then you have to go to edit edit color click on adjust color balance you'll get this window here you need to click on preview and let's change this slider and see the output yeah i think this is darker green if you want to go on little brownish stone you can just drag this slider here so um, i think I, i'm going to use uh, this color way and press ok so you, this way you will get color ways of your denim swatch so how to use this denim swatch in a flat sketch i'm just going to drag this first blue swatch into the swatch box your new swatch will get created so i'm just taking the direct selection tool and I'm going to click on the flat sketch and the white area which is filled by white and I'm going to click or or you can select magic wand click on the white area and just click on the existing swatch so this is a swatch which I have recently created I'm going to click on it and see what happens the flat sketch is completely filled by the swatch if you want to make a colorway uh, just click drag it paste alt and you will get a copy uh, at this stage you, uh, stage you should lock the first image so that you should not be able to fill uh, by using magic band so i'm going to lo lock this first sketch so i'm just going to go to object lock and select in the shortcut for this is control 2 so as you can see that I, i'm not able to select it or move it from the screen but still it is still there and this layer is locked so now I'm going to uh, make the second colorway. I'm going to take this uh, brown one and drop into it into the swatch box. So our new swatch is created and I'm going to take the magic wand tool. Oh, I'm also going to lock the back. So I'm just selecting the back and object lock and selection. Okay, so now these two sketches are locked and I'm only able to select this one. So I'm taking the magic wand tool now and I have clicked on the denim swatch so wherever the denim swatch is applied it, it will get selected and now I'm going to click on the new swatch which is brown and here we go we have a second color way of brown color so as you know that uh, some of the denim have uh, some washes on it and you need to show it to 
your client or you, if you ha- if you are uh, sending uh, this flat sketch to a washing unit you should be able to explain like where all you need pp spray or uh, sand blasting so i'm just going to show you to how to make this that effect so i'm just going to take the ellipse tool for now and then i'm going to draw ellipse like this i'm going to fill white in it and then you have to go to effects blur and gaussian blur make sure that it has no stroke color and it has only white color so i'm just going to do it again effects blur gaussian blur click on preview just drag the slider as much you want i if you think that this much white is uh, the blur is okay then press okay and then re- go to the opacity and reduce the opacity slightly yep you can also change the shape by increasing the height of the um, ellipse yep and suppose if you want to have a yellow color tone on pp spray uh, tone on the denim pant you can just select yellow color from the swatch box and here you have a yellow tone uh, sand blasting effect on your sketch if you want to make a copy just press alt and drag it you'll get a copy same way if you want to do it do it in the back area you can just drag it you can also use this shape button tool here wrap tool the shortcut for this wrap tool is shift r so i'm just going to use this and i'm going to change the shape of this sand blasting area and then i'm going to make a copy of it and i'm going to reflect it so to reflect it you have to right click on this shape and then transform and you have to click on reflect so once you click and reflect you'll get this window and where you have to click vertical reflection and make click okay yep so this is what this was very easy and if you want to add it if you want to use it many and many times you can just go to window and graphic style search for graphic style here it is and then select one wash effect and click on this new graphic style you you will get a uh, graphic style created in this box and suppose you want to add it somewhere else just take a ellipse tool click on this graphic style you will get same fill same effect i hope this video is uh, useful for you it helpful for you uh, to create flat sketch with the wash effect in the next video i am going to show you to you uh, how to create the straight lines hope you like this video thanks for watching and do not forget to like subscribe and click on the bell button so that whenever i upload a new video you will get a notification thanks a lot have a nice day sayonara